بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر جاوید اقبال کھوکر پروفیسر آف فرینزک میڈیسن اینڈ ٹاکسیکالوجی اینڈ آئی ایم اسٹارٹنگ ود دی ٹاپک آف تھینٹالوجی اینڈ دس از دی فرسٹ لیکچر اینڈ دی کنٹینٹس آف دی ٹو ڈیز لیکچر ول بی دیٹ آئی ول بی ڈسکسنگ واٹ از ڈیتھ واٹ آر ویریس ڈیفینیشنز وچ آر پریولنٹ اینڈ واٹ از دی کانسیپٹ آف ڈیتھ اینڈ واٹ آر دی نامس اینڈ what are various classifications of death so starting with the uh, thanatology what is thanatology thanatos mean death and logi is the study so thanatology is the study of phenomena of death and it is a scientific study of death in all aspects including its cause and phenomena then it also includes the changes which are appearing in the body after death they accompany the post mortem changes because these changes have a definite medical legal significance and it solves many issues which are to be investigated in the medical legal investigation so in thanatology we try to understand what is the basic concept of death and how we diagnose death what is brain death then the diagnosis and medical certification of death then medical legal aspects of sudden and unexpected death and the changes which appear in the dead bodies after death these are basically the immediate changes which are the signs of death which are necessary for the certification of death at the moment of uh, death then there are early changes which are like the cooling of the body the post mortem staining and the rigor mortis then there are certain late changes the putrefaction and deposition formation and mummification so these all changes or phenomena which are appearing in the body at starting from the moment of death till the complete dissolution or putrefaction they are very important regarding the medical legal investigation then we have to determine the post mortem interval then that means how long this body has been dead and this is by two methods the first is the rate method rate method is basically we study the post mortem changes which have a definitive chronological order of appearance and from that base, that basis we can estimate the post mortem interval and then the concurrence method that is some of the events and changes which are appearing at the environment around the body or within the body like around the body uh, for example the <clears throat> body is lying on the grass and the grass turns pale underneath the body so we should know that after how many how much time the grass turns pale if it is pale then we should know we can estimate that how many days this body has been lying there undisturbed so this is one example when we'll discuss these method we will discuss in detail so starting with the concept of death before discussing death we should understand what is life because until unless we do not understand what is life what is the basic concept of life then we will it will be easy for us to understand what is death life is basically a continued interdependence of three vital systems that is respiration circulation and innervation that is respiratory system the cvs and the cns then this is called as tripod of life because these are three pillars for the necessary for the life and this type of life is also the atria mortis atria mortis is basically the gateway of death that means if one pillar is 
uh, not functioning the other two cannot stand so this these three system basic vital systems are the tripod of life and failure of them is the atria mortis that is the gateway of death and the first pillar is the central nervous system the brain the heart the cerebrovascular system the lungs the respiratory system and they all make life so this is the tripod of life and this tripod is the atria mortis which is the gateway of death that is the loss of function of any tri any leg of the tripod is the gateway of death so all these vital functions make the tripod that's why these systems are known as atria mortis that is non functioning of these systems will be gateway of death and this is the death portal of entry or gateway of death now what is death different definitions of death have been evolved death is the end of life death is a loss of functioning of living matter dying is chain of events but ck parekh the test book of forensic medicine and toxicology it narrates death is a permanent and irreversible cessation of vital functions of heart brain and lungs then the muller in 1967 he stated that the dying is a process and it is not a moment in time it starts from the stoppage of the vital functions that is the three vital systems of the body till completion of the molecular death that is complete disintegration of each organ each cell karl in 1970 stated when the death of the brain has been established the individual has died no matter what is the state of the rest of the body giving four signs for the diagnosis of death and what are the, those four signs deep and irreversible coma with fixed dilated pupil and absent cranial reflexes this is the first sign second no spontaneous respiration third absence of electrical brain activity and fourth cessation of circulation in the retinal vessels so karl gave these four cardinal signs then shapiro defined death as death is an abstract noun which may be meaningless to laymen lawyers philosophers and priest but it is very inadequate as a biological description so death that means that cannot be defined in a moment there is no moment in time at which it occurs moment of death is a biological fiction so it's a process a chain of events which starts from the moment of death to complete disintegration of the body so this is the truth which is quite different biologically we die in bits and pieces and as we are concerned with the biological properties of living matter so the death can best be defined as the irreversible loss of the biological properties of living matter so death is irreversible loss of the biological properties of living matter and this may involve the organ as a whole or its components part so it completely defines what is death and so the death is not a moment but it's a continuous process it's a phenomena it's not a moment in time and on these basis we define death into two phases two phases have been observed thus death was classified into two groups death of the body and death of the organ 
तो दीज आर टू फेजेस बॉडी में भी डेड बट द ऑर्गन्स में सर्वाइव इन द सेम बॉडी और यू कैन ट्रांसप्लांट दीज ऑर्गन्स इन टू एन अदर बॉडी एंड दे कैन सर्वाइव इन एन अदर यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ सो देर आर टू फेजेज ऑफ डेथ फर्स्ट इज एक्सटेंशन ऑफ पर्सनैलिटी लॉस ऑफ लाइफ इज द इमीजिएट साइन ऑफ सेसेशन ऑफ वाइटल प्रोसेस इन द बॉडी और सोमा एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज सोमैटिक डेथ सो फर्स्ट फेज इज सोमैटिक डेथ and the second is the progressive disintegration of the body tissue and organs after the somatic death has taken place and this is called as molecular death or cellular death so somatic death is also called as systemic clinical or legal death so these are different names systemic death clinical death or the legal death that is the somatic death which occurs at the time of clinical certification of death so somatic death can be the irreversible loss of integrated and coordinated functions of the organ as a whole which is the somatic death and the most important are the three vital system so irreversible loss of the integrating vital systems is important for certifying somatic death so this is the stage of biological disintegration in which the law is interested law needs at what time this body has stopped functioning as a living unit so that is the clinical death and its recognition empowers a medical man to certify death so upon these criteria the doctor certified death that at this moment this body has stopped breathing stopped circulation and stopped responding to any impulse that is cns has stopped working so these three loss of three vital functions and this their criteria is the certification of death so the molecular death is death of the component parts of the organ or individual cells in different is it is different from the death of the individual that is the somat soma or the person itself because the life continues for a certain time in each organ and it is the death of the individual organ and the death that is called as somatic and it persist individually after the somatic death so the time factor depends upon resistance of each cell and uh, for how long they can remain alive and how much insult they can face to hypoxia and anoxia molecular death occurs over a period of time initial changes occur due to metabolic dysfunction and later from the Uh, structural disintegration that means first is the physiological non functioning and later on the disintegration due to putrefaction we all know that when integrated and coordinated functions of the organs as a whole are lost irreversibly death can be delay, declared so the biological properties of the components now cannot still be demonstrable uh, cannot sustain the biological properties of each component part can still be there somatic death has occurred but in individual organs the uh, biological function or properties can still go on for some period and it varies for each organ and this pro this property is the basis of organ transplantation for example uh, nervous tissue they dies rapidly brain in 3 to 7 minutes whereas the muscles up to 1 to 2 hours so these are two examples for how long the tissues can remain alive they can be taken for the transplantation so this presence of life in each organ after the somatic death is necessary for organ transplantation but the time for these properties run out soon so 
we should remove the organs within the time they they are alive and they are removed they are either transplanted or they are kept in storage so legal certification of death depends upon the somatic death and whereas the organ transplantation it depends upon the persistence of living properties in the individual organs in in the component parts so thank you very much this is all about the first